I've been thinking so much about love this week. And I've been thinking about my, my sister in Texas that I'd never met. Oh, dear Lord in heaven, is it asking too much to send me somebody that I can love? happy to see you today. Thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi. I so hope you had a good, calm, safe week. I know you didn't, but, but let's just pretend we did and let's just set it all aside and let's have some fun today. I want to go through some things I found in 2020 that changed my life. They made me healthier, safer, less stressed out and made my home prettier and I think it, you know if I liked them this much maybe you might like some of the things too I've got some cool makeup too and and you know some girly stuff so I think we're gonna really have a good time and I also I'm gonna uh, draw two winners from my giveaway uh, from last week and thank you so much for your contributions of well, sharing your word that describes you in 2021. They were beautiful and your quotes were, were so beautiful. So thank you so much for, for leaving those comments. And, and there, there will be more giveaways. So I hope everybody's going to get something. So another thing I wanted to do also is at the end of the video, I want to give you a, a personal update on a personal matter. So hopefully you'll, you'll stay with me. And, but right now, we're going to have some fun and we are going to dish the dirt, drink the tea, examine my favorites of 2020. <laughs> so let's do this and let's have some fun. All right, the first thing that I wanted to start out with is an item called the Battery Tender. And on Christmas Eve day, I went out and my car was dead. I had left the trunk open a couple days before when I was taking groceries out of the trunk. So I had a very dead battery. All right, so I didn't know what to do. So the day after Christmas, one of my dear friends came by and he gave this to me. And like I said, this is called the battery tender. And this is something so lightweight and it is so easy to use. Can you believe this? You charge it up and it sits at 100%. These are my little battery cables. As you can see, these fit in my purse. And I thought, well, nothing this small, this easily charged is going to start up my car that's been dead for about four days. And it did. It started it up right away. And... I I just, I couldn't believe it. So I was just so happy. And, you know, I've seen halos before, like on QVC or on HSN. And the reason that I never got them was because I have friends who did buy them and they didn't work out for them. 
So this one has been absolutely great. I have charged my car and I have charged a neighbor's car. I, I'm like, I, I'm just ready to charge anybody who needs a charge. But another thing I wanted to mention with this is that this wirelessly charges your phone. So, you know, like here in Michigan, we have really harsh winters. So when it gets to be, you know, like four below zero and there's ice on the trees, the branches break, they take down the power lines, my power can go out for two or three days. This will wirelessly charge my phone. So, I don't know, it, it's just such a powerful little tool. This runs around $80 and I have a three year warranty on it. Well, you know, last year I was feeling pretty good about myself. I had lost 17 pounds and I, I felt like I was looking pretty good in my clothes. Well, I gained 15 pounds this past year. So, the last couple of weeks, I started my diet and I am doing great. And one of the reasons I am doing great is because of this little miracle here. This is the Chobani Greek yogurt and it is hot chocolate spice. I don't know if you've ever had this, but this is so luxurious. It's only 80 calories. I know it sounds kind of simple, but psychologically for me, you know, I have my little, you know, rice and vegetables, you know, for dinner and pretty small portion actually, but you know, I get to have this for dessert and it makes me feel like, I don't know, a million bucks. All right, I am proclaiming to the world that for the first time in January, I have the softest feet and the softest elbows because last year I found the Nivea Cocoa Body Butter. And this is the best $6 I have ever spent. It's not, this is my second tub because I'm making a pig of myself, but it is so thick and so luxurious and it's so relaxing to apply. <laughs> anyway, I just love it. And I know you love it too because I know you're writing me and saying that you've got a tub for every bathroom and every room. I don't know if I would go that far, but I could see it. You know, all I need is my body butter and my yogurt and I'm good. <laughs> One thing you know that I love to do is I, when I'm decorating, I like to make the room cozy. And I think one way you can do that is with some really nice artificial flowers. And you know, I'm used to shopping at pretty expensive places for you know my silk flowers and my, my mason jars and things like that. But because I live close to Walmart now, I was so shocked when I went into Walmart they, well, most of their artificial flowers I don't like, but the, the ones that I do like, I think are fantastic. And I wanted to show you, I got both of these um, flowers at Walmart of all places, and I got this for a couple dollars, but I wanted to show you what I did with some inexpensive artificial flowers that I got at Walmart, how I altered them, and why I chose them and how they look on my coffee table. So I thought that would be kind of fun. But as far as 2020, what I discovered is I no longer have to spend $20 for a silk flower. You know, even though that jar and those artificial flowers were, you know, like a couple dollars a piece, I like the design and color. And I think it fits that corner. You know, I don't usually do things on a whim, but I was watching television and this woman was talking and behind her shoulder was this really pretty faux fireplace. And immediately I thought, I want one. I have to have one. After years of rejecting them, I thought, I would like that for my apartment. So I did order one and I fell in love with it. 
It is so cozy and it is so realistic. They have truly perfected them. So the glass is beautiful, the, the heat that comes from it, you can turn that off if you don't want a heater, or you can have it on and the heat is very clean. Um, so I don't know, it, I think they're just beautiful. Desi and I at night, cold winter night, we snuggle up and we have the fireplace on now and we watch a movie together. <laughs> anyway, I, I just love it. and I. That was one of my very favorite things. They're not terribly expensive. So I, I'll just show you a couple pictures of the one that I got. I got mine in bronze because I, I think it went with the rest of my furniture. Oh, I just love my new fireplace. This is the Duraflame model. And I just think it's so pretty and the flames are just so realistic. I just love it. Don't forget down below, list what, what was some of your favorite products of last year. You know, I think it'll just be so fun to share what we loved. And do you want to find out who won the giveaway last week? Let's do that right now. Let's draw some winners. Okay, let's do this. I saved the girly girly stuff for last but I did want to share with you my favorite eyeshadow palette I had a lot of them but my favorite eyeshadow palette uh, last of last year I'm trying to avoid saying 2020 but it was Tuscany by Nomad are you familiar with this I mean this came in my ipsy bag and I honestly I couldn't believe it it's almost all mattes and satins and for I don't know how many years I have been looking for the color that real subtle rose gold just the perfect rose gold and just a, a very subtle brown to go with it I have been looking for that for years I've come close to finding it but until this palette I couldn't find it, but it is in this palette. So I had to share with you. I'm going to probably do, you know, a makeup video, you know, next month. But, oh my gosh, I just love this palette. If you have this palette and you like it, will you let me know? I want to report to you that uh, Bill has contracted COVID. He's been moved from my city to Zeeland, Michigan. I haven't seen Bill since last March, but I did talk to him when he first arrived in Zeeland. And I asked him, do you know how much I love you? Do you really know, Billy, how much I love you? And <laughs> He, he sounded so nonchalant, like, what a silly question. Of course, of course I know you love me. And I was so filled with joy at that second, I realized that it was in every fiber of his being that he knew that I loved him every second of every day. And I share this with you because it's so important to really know that when we love someone and we lose them, we never look back and ask ourselves, did they love us? Did they show us that they loved us? No. We ask, did they know how much we love them? Did they really know how much they were loved? I learned that lesson when I lost my grandfather as a 10 year old girl. And I have carried that with me all of my life that if I love someone, I want them to know I love them unconditionally, 100%. 
And I think with Billy, I think I succeeded. The wine of love is music, and the feast of love is song. And when love sits down to the banquet, love sits long. It's long and arises drunken, but not with the feast and the wine. He reeleth with his own heart, that great, rich vine. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I loved every second of it. Please have yourself a safe, happy, brand new week. And when you're done with your week, you come back and see me and Desi, okay? All right. It's a deal. We'll be here. Mister, wherever you go, whatever you do, May this guardian angel watch over you. Imagine what we could do if we really knew how powerful we are.